Good day everyone. I am here to present Davao Philippines. Tara, pasyal tayo sa Davao. Davao City, Southern Mindanao Island, Philippines. It is lie at the mouth of the Davao River near the head of Davao Gulf. The city is the leading regional center for Southern Mindanao and encompasses about 50 small ports in its commercial sphere. It is the most populous city in Mindanao and the third largest city in the Philippines. Known for its bustling economic activities, urban build-up, and modern amenities. Davao City is one of the most important economy in the island and the third most important urban center in the Philippines. Davao was entered as a charter city on October 16, 1936 by President Manuel L. Quezon. The charter came into effect on March 1, 1937. It was one of the first two towns in Mindanao to be converted into city, the other being Sambuanga. Davao City has a total land area of 2,444 square kilometer, making it the largest city in the Philippines in terms of land areas. It is divided into three congressional districts and the further divided into 11 administrative districts. In 1848, Don Jose Uyangren led Spanish expedition to Davao and established a Christian settlement in an area of mangrove swamps that is now Bolton Riverside. Davao was then ruled by Chieftain Datu Bogo, who held the settlement at the banks of Davao River, which was once called Tagloc River by Bukopos. After Uyangren defeated Datu Bongo, he renamed the region Nueva Gisqualquia in horror to its womb in Spain and became its first governor. The Younggren's effort to develop the area, however, did not prosper. But in 1930s, Davao was completely undergo the control of Japanese. Their economic clout made them politically influential. The biggest concentration of the Japanese was in Yaga Municipal District, centered around Nintal, and their population grew to 17,900 by 1939. On December 8, 1941, the Japanese planes bombed the city and eventually occupied Davao in 1942. However, in 1945, the American troops and the Philippine Commonwealth forces liberated Davao City from Japanese occupation. Thirty years later, in 1967, the province of Davao was subdued into three independent provinces, namely Davao del Norte, Davao del Sur, and Davao Oriental. The city of Davao was grouped in Davao del Sur and was no longer the capital. However, Davao City became the center of trade for southern Mindanao. Before World War II, the city was developed as the Japanese colony which owned extensive abaca plantations, but it was raised during the war. The rebuilt city is an attractive blend of Spanish, American, and Moorish influences, largely rural outside its urban core. Davao City is one of the world's largest city in land area, exploring among coconut groves and rice lands. The regional headquarters for commercial and administrative activities, Davao is served by major airport and highways. Davao City is the site for universities of Mindanao, the Philippine Women's College of Davao, and other colleges. The Lomo Beach, the Bago Inigo Fish Farm, and the Pearl Farm of Samal Ireland are nearby. In 1970s, Davao became the regional capital of southern Mindanao with the recent reorganization became the regional capital of the Davao region or Region 11. Davao City's climate is classified as mild tropical climate. Significant rainfall in Davao City is experienced throughout the year, even the driest month. The predominant wind direction is northward from the Davao Gulf where the cooler air of the sea replaces the warm air mass over the city. A surrounding mountain chain protects the city effectively from strong winds. Residents of Davao City are colloquially known as Dabawenos. Nearly all local Dabawenos are Visayans, while others of different ethnicities collectively categorized as the indigenous communities make up the remainder of the local population. Agriculture remains the largest economic sector comprising banana, pineapple, coffee, and coconut plantations in the city. 
It is Mindanao Island's leading exporter of fruits such as mangoes, pomelos, bananas, coconut products, pineapples, papayas, mangosteen, and cacao. The Dago Gulf provides livelihood for many fishermen. Some of the fish products include yellowfin tuna, brackish water milkfish, mudfish, shrimp, and crab. Most of the fish catch are unloaded in a fishing port in Barangay Toril, which are then sold in the numerous markets within the city. Here are 10 foods to try in Dabao. First is boneless crispy pata. This whole deboned pork leg is simmered in spices and deep fried to perfection. Second is durian and langka turon. This yummy deep fried dessert is a must try dish when you're in Dabao. Third is grilled tuna belly with simple seasoning but tastes delicious. is Filipino style fried fish with mango sauce. Simple but dripping with sweet and savory flavors. Fifth is grilled squid. There's an intricate mix of flavors that has a slightly charred and tangy aftertaste. Sixth is Halo Halo. You must try this most popular Filipino dessert. Seventh is Homemade Lemongrass and Avocado Ice Cream. It is a refreshing dessert that has a beautiful creamy texture and a delightful taste. Eight is Calderobo, one of their best delicacies, extremely tasty. Ninth is native chicken binacol. It is a chicken soup dish that is very flavorful and comforting. And lastly, the isaw or chicken intestines. This is a common street food in the Philippines. Must try for the adventurous. Davao City is a premier tourist destination in Mindanao, as well as a domestic and international gateway to other visitor destinations in the island. It offers a combination of nature-based, man-made, historic, cultural, adventure and sports, special interests, religious, educational, agro-industrial, attraction, pleasure and entertainment, festivals, dining, and shopping.
And here are the 15 tourist spots in Davao. First is Explore Samal Island. This piece of paradise is often the go-to destination of travelers exploring this part of the country and is one of the top destination for island hopping in the Philippines. Second is Discover Eden Nature Park. This is highly recommended because its serenity and tropical forest climate will certainly remove anybody's anxiety from the stress and the noise of the busy city. Third is Unwind at Malagos Garden Resort and Chocolate Museum. You can feed the birds and you can communicate with them at the bird feeding dome. Malagos is also home to the Philippines' first chocolate museum. Fourth is see the reptiles at Crocodile Park. This park is home to the thousands of crocodiles, both freshwater and saltwater reptiles, which are bred and born on site. Fifth is visit the Philippine Eagle Center. This center dedicated efforts and time to protect the endangered species while providing an exciting and fun platform for locals and visitors. At People's Park Davao. It's one of the cleanest and greeniest park in the country. Seven is see panoramic view at Jack's Ridge. It is the way to go to get the full eagle eye views of Davao City. Other than the marvelous views, visitor can also find two restaurants here. is taste the durian fruit because of its abundance and rarity in other parts of the Philippines. Durian has become almost synonymous with Davao City.
Ninth is spend time at Rojas Night Market. The various stalls in this famous night market are homes to fresh and cooked kinds of seafood, veggies, meat, and more. Tent is stopped by at Museo de Baueño. Within the museum, the visitor can see stilt houses, replicas, weapons, and musical instruments used by indigenous people. It also houses a full gallery of antiques like armor, chairs, crown, and lamps of Moro people as well as traditional Filipino clothing, Filipino bills, musical notes, clothes, and more. 11 is Trick Mount Apo. The highest in the Philippines, a trip to Dabao is not complete without the visit to the King of the Philippines, Peak or Mount Apo. Twelve is visit the double butterfly house. It is protected sanctuary for different species of butterflies, flowers, and plants, as well as exotic species of insects and animals. Thirteen is Tri Civet Coffee. It is one of the most unique yet expensive coffee in the world, not only because of its taste but also the way it being prepared. Fourteen is immersed in the Kadawayan village. It's a popular attraction in sightseeing escape in Davao as it expresses not only a deeper appreciation of the indigenous and Boros history but also appreciation with Philippine architecture. Lastly, visit nearby tourist spots in Davao region. Visit first the Dahican Beach in Mati, Davao Oriental, one of the most beautiful beaches in the Philippines. And the second one is Aliwagwag Falls in Dabao Oriental, most popular natural site and it's also considered the highest waterfall state. Here are the five most happening Davao City festivals you must experience once in your life. First is Karayawan Festival. In third week of August, the whole city is lit up in vibrant colors. As the people are grateful for the bountiful harvest, they celebrated this week long with full delight. Each year, thousands of tourists in Davao wear a Karayawan costume to join and experience the Karayawan Street Party. Feast on the best Davo delicacies and enjoy Flora Food Parade, among other equally entertaining events.
second is Chinese New Year. In the last week of January, the festival celebrated with dance, music, food, gifts, and a lot of enthusiasm. It is the extravagant delight for all the people as they mark the beginning of the new year. The whole day of the Wuvenyos is occupied with full entertainment. Third is Pasco Fiesta sa Davao. The entire month of December, you will experience the festival of Christmas at this place like never before. People love to celebrate their Christmas holidays in this place as the city shimmer with the magical sounds and the night markets are on sale. Fourth is Araw ng Dabao. It is celebrated as the foundation day of the Davao City in 16th of March. Every year, they are honoring beautiful ladies of Davao and pick mutyan ng Dabao or Miss Davao. Fireworks, sports, competition, and military parade are some of the other major events covered in the festival. And lastly, Chinese made Autumn Moon Festival, also known as the Moon Festival or Mooncake Festival. It is the second most important festival in Davao City. This festival is celebrated with a lot of exuberance. People celebrated this festival when there is a full moon, depicting as a symbol of harmony, happiness, and reunion. Kaya ano pang hinihintay mo? Tara na sa lungsod ng Davao!